We're working hard to ensure a bright future for all of us, but we need your help too. We're facing some big challenges about how we manage water, so we've got some important choices to make. Plastic fantastic! Where would we be without it? Plastics have their purpose of course, but the blighter gets into our water, kills our wildlife and pollutes us all. Not so plastic fantastic now. Plastic is leaving an ugly legacy. Today, scientists date the past by looking at fossil plants and animals preserved in rocks. But the archaeologists of the future will know we were here because of the deposits of plastic we're wrapping the world in. Is this really how we want to be remembered? Plastics don't degrade, which means they don't break down fully. This leaves our environment looking ugly. Not only that, but these plastics entangle our wildlife. Even when the plastics do slowly break down, they just split into tiny pieces called microplastics. We can visibly see plastics littering our environment, but the microplastics left behind aren't as visible. It doesn't mean they're not there. 70% of plastics in the ocean sinks to below the surface level and that's never going to be beach cleaned or litter picked because it's in the water column. So we, you know, we're creating a plastic soup, we're creating um, a plastic environment that the fish and the sea creatures are living in, are accidentally eating and ingesting um, and that has repercussions for all of us. Every time you run a cycle of washing, your nylon and your acrylic materials will shed. You know, it's about 700,000 fibres per washing cycle, and that's straight into the ocean. So if we don't start thinking about stopping that, um, actually stopping that getting in there in the first place, we're going to create a really toxic environment that will affect you know, us. It, it's in the food chain plastic tampon applicators, we get cotton buds, we get little interdental brushes and toothbrushes and people seem to think that the toilet is a bin. There's a range of plastic things that people think is okay to flush and they're not biodegradable, they're not compostable, they're really lethal in the sea environment, in the marine environment. You know, think about what you buy, what you need, what you could live without. You know, recycling is at the bottom of the hierarchy, you know, we need to be refusing single-use plastics if we don't need them. We need to be reducing and repairing and reusing things before we go out and buy new ones or before we recycle. Small changes, big picture. 